Okay, so we are going to look at a math problem, a geometry math problem, where we have to find the missing angles. And this picture, or this diagram, looks quite overwhelming at first. But what we need to do is we need to look at the fundamentals that we've been learning. So we've got to look at what we know, and that is the two parallel lines, we're looking for those parallel lines and that transversal. So we know a lot about this diagram. We know that these angles here are the same as these angles here. We also know about the alternate angles, that these are the same. We know about opposite angles. We know that this angle is the same as this angle. We know that this angle is the same as this angle. Uh, there's a lot of fundamentals we actually know. In fact, we even know the F pattern. We know that this here is the same as this down here. Can you see the letter F? That's called the corresponding. Uh, in fact, we even know that this one here is the same as this one here. Now that might be difficult to see. So let's actually apply it. When we're looking at this, let's look for those parallel lines in that transversal. I see these parallel lines right here, and I see my transversal. I also see another transversal here. But let's focus on this one. Okay, so we're given some clues here. First of all, I know that these angles are going to be the same as these angles here. Simply because the, these are both involved with the parallel lines. So hopefully you can all, maybe I need a marker. That might be helpful. So I'll grab this marker and hopefully you are able to visualize that this here. Right, here's my two parallel lines and there's my transversal. So we're just going to focus on that. So I know that this is 124. And I know by rule that the opposite is also 124. So I can actually mirror this here. So let me do that. This is 124. The opposite here will be 124. So that's helpful. Okay, now we can look at this problem here and we can maybe rely on the supplementary rule. Do you remember the supplementary rule? The supplementary rule suggests that if you have a 180 degree angle, that if it's split up, say this is 120, then 180. So in this particular case, let's look here. I can see a supplementary angle. I can see 124, 124 plus something will give me 180. So I need to figure this out. So I need to do 180 minus 124, and that gives me 56. So this must be 56. And then look, I can even use the opposite rule and make this 56. And then of course, the mirror of it is down here. This is 124, this would have to be 56. And then here, look, another supplementary here, 124, 56. Here, 124, the opposite here, 56. So, so far, so good. Okay, so we've got to look for some clues here. We've got this and this sorted out. Down here, not very helpful because this line is not involved in the parallel line um, set up, right? So we don't have the two parallel lines and the transversal here. This is not parallel. So these are not related. So don't let that confuse you. So I got to look for some clues here. Lots of clues to think about. There's a lot of different shapes in here. I see a triangle. So when I see a triangle, I know that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So I have 25 plus 124, if I add those together and I would then need um, another number to get to 180, 
Um, or what I could do is 180 minus 124 minus 25, and that will get me 31. So I know that this plus this plus this add up to 180, right? This and this and this equal 180. Perfect. Well, now that I have this angle, I can solve the rest of this. If this is 31, the opposite of it is 31. If this is 31, the supplementary angle, the other one here, well, 180 minus 31 will give me 149. So this becomes 149. And then, of course, I know this side, this would also be 149. Beautiful. All right. So now we've got this whole section set up. So we need to solve a few more um, angles here. So I have these ones missing. How do I figure that one out? Well, you might not have noticed it, but I have a clue here. I have this and this. This tells me that this length is the same as this length. If this length is the same as this length, that means this angle is the same as this angle. And if that's the case, if this is 124, then this is 124. If this is 124, then I know through default using the supplementary rule that this is 56. Now, I also know that if this side length, because of this, is the same as this side length, and that this angle is the same as this angle, I know that this angle here would also be the same as this angle here. So if this is 56, this would also become 56. And I can actually prove that using a, a, uh, the alternate angle approach. Have a look at that. Can you see that there? That's 56, so that makes that 56. Just doing a recording. So if this is 56, then and this is 56, I know everything else. I know that I have 124 here because of the supplementary rule. I have the opposite is 124. I have this is 56. So it all starts coming together. So there's a few more angles I'm going to have uh, you try, um, but hopefully I've given you a good head start. Um, just so that you know, over here it looks a little bit overwhelming. I have um, a five-sided figure. I have, I've been given 56. I've been given 124. I should figure that out because I know that this is 90. If this is 25, I know that this is 155 because of the supplementary rule. And so I'm left with 124, 56, 155, 90. And I've looked up that a five-sided figure totals 540. So I just have to do the math. 540 minus 124 minus 56 minus 155 minus 90 will give me 115 here. Finally, um, I've, given, I've been given this angle, I've been given this angle, I've been given this angle. I should know what this angle is because I know that a quadrilateral, they add up to 360. So 360, take away 63, take away 124, take away 56 will leave me with 117 here. And it... I've been given this angle here, which is unique. So what I have here is I have a 360 degree angle. If I have 117 plus 148, I need 95 to give me 360. In other words, 360 take away 148, take away 117 gives me 95. So that makes this 95. And of course, if I know that this is 95 and this is 56 and this is 149, I have another quadrilateral. If I do 360, take away 95, take away 56, take away 149, I end up with 60 degrees. A lot of work and a lot of practice. And stop. Sorry.